All right, what is going on my dudes? We are back here today with the video I've wanted to make for a very very long time it's been requested a bunch. Uh, it's a champion that's been on my short list for, you know, uh, a showcase video for a while now. You guys know that my favorite videos to make are like those champions that are like undervalued, underappreciated, still kind of good. Not the best, but kind of good and fun to showcase, right? And I feel like Vulture is in that group and I've been wanting to make a rank three video on this guy for just the longest amount of time. And now, now is the final chance that I possibly have to do it. So I guess I'm kind of forced into making one, right? So I was honestly unbelievably surprised with how good this guy actually was if you're able to build a team around him. Now we're going to talk about that. Now there are two specific synergies that uh, really blew my mind with this guy. And I think, you know, like overlooking like when I'm looking at like this new kit and everything and the breakdown of this champion, I feel like he's going to be really, really, really good when paired with these champions, especially when keeping in mind the new qualities of his kit. And we're going to go over all of that. We also have some videos um, in some fights in this video of literally just Vulture by himself, no synergies whatsoever. But um, the way Vulture works, he's very interesting. I feel like most people don't know how this guy works. Um, but essentially the way he works is that he puts these debuffs on the opponent and then he like uh, kind of power locks them in a way with the special two and with the special one he like has these jatari charges and then he like um has like raptor strikes where you dash back and you immediately dash in if you hit their block you get a phase counter or a miss counter and if you hit them you drain their power i'm not doing the best job at uh describing this but you could read it all you could pause the video here also whenever he decks as an attack he puts an incinerate on the opponent that's pretty cool as well um so vulture is a champion who really does benefit a bit by being awakened um at least at the start of the fight he doesn't need to be awakened. However, um, it just helps his ramp up significantly, right? Because you start at max charges. But let's talk about these synergies here. So he has some attack, right? There's like 11% attack on this team between Starkey and Darkhawk. But look at this. Starting out here with Darkhawk, plus 40% um, for uh, damaging debuffs, right? The same thing for uh, with, with Starkey here, plus 40% incinerate damage. So between Darkhawk and Starkey, that's plus 80% incinerate damage. That's really, really good if you're throwing the special three incinerate or if you're doing a lot of dexing but the important synergies here are the next two with stealthy and tiger okay so check this out here vulture start the fight with a decoy buff that's nice you can miss right away but look at this vulture stores five jatari energy when striking an opponent suffering from a siphon charge debuff that's the special one and the special two right and you'll see how important that is when we're doing the fight and keep that in mind that when you combine that with the tiger synergy here that's when it starts to get kind of nutty so with the tiger synergy um Activating Raptor Strike, pause the siphon charges, and thermal feedback debuffs for five seconds each. That's crazy. So you get the special one and the special two on the opponent, and you keep hitting them, and you're pretty much always at like max charges, and you continually do backdraft intercepts with him, and you just keep draining their power, right? And then you keep um pausing the debuffs on the opponent over and over and over and over and over and you're basically locking them in the in the corner here just power just watch just watch man i think you're going to be very very surprised when you watch this fight because this was really crazy you start out missing by the way really really cool uh 6.4k medium crit which by the way is not too bad a 9k second part of the heavy attack there all right now the incinerate is taking for about 600 per tick that's not too bad so the way to ramp vulture up pre-buff at least i have and played with him post buffed here is first things first i want to go for a special one now look at that look at how quickly my chitauri charges just went up okay that's because of the stealthy synergy i'm gaining an additional five every time now watch this i pause the debuff with the power dream and because of the stealthy synergy i can continually activate these raptor charges now i'm going for a special two and watch this man watch all of the burst damage here that is a lot of burst damage that's happening on top of the incinerate damage on top of everything else going on and look at winter soldier's power bar here i'm gonna hide my face for a second just watch winter soldier's power bar Look at this. It's literally not moving. We can go for a heavy attack because we have the miss counter. Watch his power bar. It's just not moving. He really reminds me of like Dr. Octopus. Now here's the thing. Dr. Octopus can do this kind of thing very easily without any synergy members. And Vulture does need Tiger and Stealthy. But keep in mind, those are two champions that I personally rate very, very uh, highly. And I think they're very useful in endgame content as well as AQ and Alliance War and all other pieces of content in the entire game. All right. So basically, man, if you put those three champions together, and then if you want to bring along Starkey and Darkhawk as well, you can get some more attack down 
damage and some more incinerate potency. But for me, the real jewel here is just being able to completely almost power lock the opponent the entire time once you get these debuffs up and not have to worry about those um, debuffs falling off with the Tigress energy. As you can see, you know, they're supposed to last for 10 seconds and 15 seconds pre-buff, um, but because of the Tigress energy and the Chitauri charge upgrade with the Stealthy synergy, we had them up pause the entire fight. This was a very, very impressive Winter Soldier Realm of Legends so showcase for me. 109 hits with Vulture. Um, really good stuff, man. So now we're going to go and see what he's like against a normal endgame health pool opponent. This is where we usually go to test our bad champions right against his X-23 and 6.4.5 and Lionheart, Mirror Image, image uh, Arc Overload. And again, we have the same team going on. It's a very, very powerful um, synergy team here for Vulture. And keep in mind, Darkhawk and, Stealth and, and Starkey are two very good champions as well so we're throwing that first special one okay we still have our mischarge on um that's a really it's a really nice fail safe by the way that you know it, it allows you to like go right into a heavy attack in the corner which is really nice but also at the same time it's just nice to have that you know ability to mess up without dying right so now we're going to go for the special two and this is where the damage really really starts that's a big 32k crit man that's really not too bad look at the damage that we're doing against this x23 and now we're going to go for some heavies in the corner really not too bad we got through an end game level health pool in 45 hits now we're going to do the exact same fight but this time we're going to do it completely synergy list okay so we're not going to have the luxury of pausing the debuffs we're not going to have the luxury of gaining an additional five chargers every time we hit the opponent after the special one so now we're also not going to have the luxury of starting with the decoy from the stealthy synergy so now what we have to do is we have to play very I don't even know how to describe it differently, right? We can't just continually power lock them um, in the in the corner here, but at the same time, um, we could still do it like every other combo, right? Because we're not gaining the extra five. So essentially, the stealthy synergy doubles your speed here, and the tigress energy allows you to just keep the debuffs on the opponent the entire time. But even without those, if we're playing normally, right, uh, you're still baiting a, a significantly lower amount of specials because you are doing those power drains and there is that power burn happening okay so you're not going to be power draining them with the with the medium attack every single combo however you're still getting a significant amount of power burn as well so instead of 45 hits we're going to be ending this hits th th this hits we're going to be ending this fight around 71 hits which is not bad man for vulture a champion that i feel like most people in the game completely write off think that he's useless right think that he he hits like a noodle but when you combine him with the synergy members it's really his damage is not not bad and even on his own it's not bad if you know how to play him um now keep in mind of course i'm sure some people are going to say like oh well, he's a rank three champion of course he hits hard not all rank three champions hit hard guys it's just not how it is uh rank three doesn't automatically make bad champions good it just makes their health pools a little bit higher makes their attack a little bit higher but anyway let's move on to a little bit of utility so right now vulture is completely immune to incinerate in his new update i believe he has the potential to be shock and poison immune as well with synergies but one cool thing in his kit is that when he would get a debuff that he's immune to um his chitauri charges go all the way up right they just uh they, they they go to max so i guess if your vulture is unduped and you're on the suicide masteries that's kind of going to be as if you're playing him dupe which is going to be kind of cool for the future uh for you but anyway we're in 6.2.2 here with backblast is the global node so basically all of our critical hits damage are doubled and when that threshold is reached um we're going to get an incinerate debuff on us however we don't have to worry about that at all because we're going to be completely immune to um, incinerate debuffs. So we ate a little combo there, a little uh, punch to the face, but that's totally fine. Uh, not too concerned about that. You know, what we're trying to do here is just, uh, you know, go for a rotation here, go for the special one, and then go up for the special two. Again, that rotation might change after the buff, only time will tell. But for right now, this is how you play pre-buff Vulture, at least how I play him. And as you can see, our Chitauri Chargers are really, really ramping up um, much, much faster and staying ramped up because whenever we would gain one of those incinerates we're just going to max really good really 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 good performance here by vulture again 45 hits is like uh another end game opponent just completely flushed down the toilet really good stuff up next we're going to uh freezer burn here right which is also going to be interesting to see because freezer burns a node that when you hit the opponent you get an incinerate on you and when you hit their block you're going to get a cold snap on you as you can see right there okay now keep in mind uh vulture is not immune to cold snap and nothing in his new kit does anything for cold snap however um 
you know, you, you want to try and not hit into their block. However, if you do, you'll you'll live from one cold snap debuff here, okay? Um, but what's really cool is that whenever you would get the incinerate, you're just gonna stay completely at max charge, man. So this is another scenario where if you don't have those synergies with you, okay? You can kind of play how I was playing with the synergies, where you can just kind of power drain them on every medium, see? You're just, I'm just, look at this, I'm power draining them, and I'm almost staying at max whenever I would gain one of those incinerates. So he's really, really good for, um, what's it called freezer burn here now keep in mind if you don't want to play as risky um as long as there isn't limber you could also parry dash back and dash in and you're pretty much going to be safe there doing that so at this point i did to eat a combo but i'm not too concerned about it this fight is basically over and the incinerate was taking for 1246 per with those synergies man so really really good stuff we have one more fight to show you here this is in 6.5 3.5 is power shield and pleasure to burn um so basically the reason why i'm showing this um is just because you know every time that you dex you dex something you're gonna nice way to start the fight every time you dex you're gonna be putting an incinerate debuff on the opponent so watch this check this out we're not gonna dex this because it's dormammu um but i guess Huh, I guess I'm not going to be dexing anything here because of Dormammu. I didn't even realize that. Okay, anyway, uh, I guess, I, you know, I just put the video together. I just edited it without thinking about this interaction too much because there's also God of Light here. So I guess I saw the Incinerate debuff and I was like, yeah, that works. Okay, basically, let's talk about it though, okay? So for Pleasure to Burn, um, you do like 90% less damage unless there is an Incinerate debuff on the opponent, right? So with Vulture, as you've seen in the other fights in this, uh, this video, when you dex a basic attack or an energy beam or a gunshot or anything you want to dex okay big special too love it or anything that you want to dex um you put a what do you call it an incinerate debuff on the opponent so basically you have access to incinerate the entire fight when using vulture and like i said with Darkhawk and stark you get plus 80 percent potency on all the damaging debuffs which is really really nice for vulture man so this guy he really impressed me today. Uh, you know, personally, we'll talk about my personal account for a second. I'm close to another uh, six, you know, a tech tier five class catalyst. I'm very, very close. I should be there very, very soon. I think I'm 10% away. Um, so very, very soon I should be there. And I have Vulture duped as a six star. I was pretty set on bringing Howard the Duck up as my next rank three because I really, really like the new Howard the Duck. However, this video, man, was I just feel like Vulture is going to be more widely useful but i don't know like i said only time will tell we're gonna have to see how the buff does um at the end of the day he does really like that stealthy and tigress energy and i'm not always gonna want to bring along like a trinity of a team um to run with him uh but if i end up liking him on his own i know that some of the values are adjusted where he might not need those champions we're gonna have to see hopefully his damages increase but this video really impressed me and it made me really really excited to test out the new vulture first and foremost um so i'm really excited man uh i think that's gonna be a really nice boost to the tech class because he's a really cool champion um so how are the duck absolute you know knockout man of a buff vulture he's already pretty good and he's pretty much just like gaining on to what he has with some value and you know updates so very excited to see it man hopefully vulture and howard the duck you know gives the tech class what we have been lacking and hopefully there are some more really cool tech champions coming in the future i personally really like silver centurion i know a lot of people didn't but hey man that's gonna be it for this video if you enjoyed it drop your boy a big old like comment what you think about vulture pre-buff in the comment section below are you excited for the buff let me know i know i personally am and make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any buffed vulture gameplay coming to you very very soon i'll be seeing you around